Well, hold on. When you when you talk about the Canucks, now there's a, there's a couple things you could be talking about here because I don't know if you realized, but we are now not only Vancouver Canucks after dark, but we are now also the Abbotsford Canucks after dark uh, because I guess the Canucks were feeling just so creative uh, over the last couple of months here, uh, really brainstorming all these different <laughs> names that they could uh, really invigorate the fan base with. And they came up with something so original and <laughs> just so classy and clean, the Abbotsford Canucks. <laughs> now, this is funny. I'm laughing uh, for a couple of reasons. People say that we get along well, we have good chemistry. And it, I, I agree, we do, especially considering we've never met each other in person. And I, I think it's good because we're both relatively, well, we're, we're both good looking. We're both intelligent. We're both good communicators. But a lot of times we don't always disagree. Like we seem to have a very similar take. Maybe that's why we get along so well. But I know this is one where you would have loved a different name. And I'm completely fine with this name. I really am. Yeah. See, the thing is for me is, look, at the end of the day, I don't, it doesn't matter, right? Like it really doesn't, but it's just not very fun. <laughs> and I feel like that's, you know, the, the Canucks have always sort of had this, um, this, you know, this facade of being sort of not very fun, right? There's always been sort of the, oh, well, the lower bowl is all suits and <laughs> it's all just a corporate environment and it's all just a big money-making scheme. And, and, you know, now we're getting to, you know, there's just, there's not a lot of fun. Now, building a brand wise, it makes sense, right? right, um, and right. I think there's like seven other teams in the AHL that are, that are doing a similar yeah. thing. Um, I just thought it was a, a fun, uh, a real opportunity to sort of just be like, all right, this is going to be our fun town, right? Abbotsford, yeah. we're just going to, we're just going to have fun, cheap tickets, cheap beer, fun name, fun jerseys. Let's, let's make it a little wacky and have some fun, but they went with, you know what, let's keep our brand image. Let's, let's stick yeah. it uh, all in one sort of, I get it. I just, they, they teased us. They were like, oh, you know what? Maybe we're going to go off the board here and do some fun aces, uh, aviators, mm -hmm. Avengers, mm -hmm. something weird. Right. And then they're like, yeah, by the way, no, it's, we were, we were doing this the whole time. Like it's just the facts. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't hate it. I just think right. it was a, it's a missed opportunity for right. some fun. So 100% Parker, I, I hear where you're coming from about a missed opportunity. I look at that. Yes, you're right. There are six other AHL teams that have the same thing. And I, I do think when someone puts on, when a player puts on an Abbotsford Canucks jersey, and I, I've seen some, some you know, people talking about it in the chat, you know, we are all Canucks takes on a whole new meaning. We joked about Canucks after dark, which I actually, you think I felt, I thought about that. I didn't even think about that before we, we pressed didn't record. I until I said it. <laughs> no, no, that was very smart then. But I, I think there's a certain amount of pride that comes with putting on a Canucks jersey. And maybe for, you know, we're not talking about a, a, a 10 year veteran who gets sent sent down to Abbotsford, but a, an up comer, a prospect, maybe, you know, it's not going to make a difference to his play. But I think for, from an identity standpoint, a branding, a prize standpoint, it, it doesn't hurt. But yes, I do not disagree that they did miss an opportunity for something different, but they are trying to rebuild this brand after a really tough year. And what better way to do so than to keep the same name and keep it unilateral, unified. So I, I hear what you're saying, but I, I'm okay with it too. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, Jason Bruff had a good tweet, a, a good take today. And he was like, "As I don't care, just develop some good players. <laughs> and at the end of the day, look, that's all we care about, right? Whether yeah. the Canucks, the millionaires, or you know whatever, uh, yeah. the farmers, you know, take your pick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As long as they have a good system in place, they can develop some prospects. That's really all that matters. Um, so at the end of the day, look, yeah. it, there's, at least it's in Abbotsford. It's not in Utica. So uh, I think we can sort of take our win there. And you know what I learned, Parker, over the past five days is the venom, the craziness of Canucks Twitter. Didn't, notice I didn't say Vancouver Canucks Twitter. Canucks Twitter is already apropos part of Abbotsford Canucks because we know that when they delayed the Friday announcement to today, Wednesday, there are some people that were like, that's cool. That's cool. They got to do what they got to do. Get all the ducks in a row. But there are a lot of people that were, were flipping mad. They were upset. And then they find out it's because of an emergency, a health issue in for someone. We don't know who. And now they, they kind of look a little silly for being so upset. And then even today, I don't know what you're doing at 10 o'clock. I admit I was refreshing the, the Twitter feed a couple of times and people were also upset that it was 15 minutes late or whatever. And then, then they were complaining that it was an underwhelming announcement. Like, what do these people want, man? <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Um, so I remember, I think it was Sakaris who had a tweet last week when it got delayed and he was like, ah, it's kind of on brand, right? For, yeah. For the Canucks. Yeah. And then it comes out and then it's like, oh, it was actually a family emergency. He's like, okay, well, that's not a great look. And then, but then the Canucks, 
tweeted out themselves. Like, I think it was on like Friday. The Canucks tweeted out on their main account, like we had to put some finishing touches yeah. together or something. Right. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well that's not saying like it's a family emergency. They're just saying like, <laughs> Oh, we just, we just weren't organized enough. And then I, the Stockton heat put out a tweet today. Uh, that was like, uh, it was like, yeah, we would have waited too, or something like that. Like it was uh, just a bit of shade. And then a lot of people in the comments are like, Hey guys, they said it was a family emergency. Maybe, <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, like the, the messaging was so inconsistent. So, you know, I'm yeah. not going to, I'm not going to get mad over any of that, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sort of a, sort of a messy, a messy introduction. Yeah. So we're at 10 o'clock. Were you refreshing or were you, did you forget about it or did you I remember? Was, or what I was doing? busy with work stuff. Um, but I, yeah. I saw after, after the call I was on, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, yeah. well, that's cool. Like, that's kind of lame. I kind of expected it because it was sort of the rumor that was floating around from last week. Yeah. Uh, so I, I wasn't too angry. Sure. And I noticed maybe not that your videos or my videos are the basis of all things Twitter, but I didn't see you or me running to our computer to, or running to our phone to record, record a video today. I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> no. Cause, cause I mean, I mean, I don't know what I could have, what could I have done to make this, this interesting. Right. 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 Like I, I, I would be like, Oh yeah, they're the same name. Uh, they have green jerseys. So that's yeah. fun. I'm yeah. glad they did that. Honestly, I, they, yeah. they needed to do something different. I yeah. don't love the logo. Um, I just mm -hmm. don't, I don't think it looks great on a Jersey. Like I don't hate mm. the idea of the Johnny Canuck, Canuck logo. Right. Right. I mean, you look at the jerseys, the giants put out last night. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you saw those. Yeah. Those, that logo looks great. Oh, like that, those jerseys yeah. are outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. I think this, this Abbots for Canucks Jersey, barring the logo, I think it's excellent. I like the mm -hmm. green, the sleeves are awesome. The stripe. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yep. It looks really good. I just don't love that logo on it. I think yep. they could have done you know, uh, a different logo, yeah. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, uh, sure. And I know there are a lot, yeah. And there's a lot of people in our comment section, especially Lucas and which is awesome. They're really big HL fans and know a lot more than AHL. Then I won't put you in that boat, but definitely more than me. But question for you, Parker, are you going to buy tickets to go see this team? I'll go to a couple games. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get like season tickets or anything. Yeah. I think, I think it's about probably a, 30 to 45 minute drive for me. So it's not, yep. you know, at the end of the day, it's about the same amount of time for me to get there as it would be to a Vancouver Canucks game. So yeah. at this point, it's like, you know, I'll go to a couple games just for the experience, right? To say I went yeah. and see what yeah. the vibe is like. Um, yeah. But I, I'm not going to be going to every game or anything like that. Um, but I'll definitely swing by uh, for a couple. Yeah. And I'm really curious to see at what kind of dent, if at all, if this puts into the Canucks season tickets, because I know that it's me and Mike that have seats one and two, the guy who owns seats three and four, who I sometimes do some goofy intermissions with, he actually gave up his Canucks season tickets and in, instead is going to put his time and energy into the Abbotsford team. Granted, he lives further out there, but I, I wonder how many people are going to do that. Yeah. And it's, I'm sure it's cheaper, right? Yep. You know, if, yep. if, if all you want to do is see some, some decent hockey, uh, yep. which I mean, it's not like it's not like you're going to Canucks games for high level hockey at this point. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> you know, maybe you know you go you go to some AHL games. You're paying yep. maybe a, a third of the price, uh, especially if you live out there, right? You don't have to. It's not a whole evening thing like yep. it is to to make your way out to Vancouver, get into the city. Um, so you know, I kind of get it if you're not basically if you're not like Surrey or Burnaby Coquitlam uh, or West, then it's kind of I, I can definitely see the value proposition there. Can you put up, is it Agam or Agam? Uh, Agam. Agam, his last two. Imagine your friend says he has Canucks tickets and it ends up being Abby. So that was pretty funny. Yeah. And then he says, realistically, the skill level <laughs> for both teams is the same. Uh, I mean, yeah, you look at the, the roster from a couple from a few years ago yeah. when, yeah. you know, uh, it's not much different. Uh, so, <laughs> but you, but in all seriousness, let's say you are. You were a Utica Comets season ticket holder in the past few years, or maybe a few years ago. You would have seen guys like Demko and D, D Pietro go through. Yeah, there's certain guys that didn't. Those guys that came straight to the NHL, like the Pedersons and Hughes of, of the world and the Besters. But still, you, you would have seen a lot of our, our prospects. And that's cool. If you're into that thing, that that's awesome. This is a wonderful opportunity to see our own prospects homegrown in our own in our own town. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it just depends on how many prospects they have. Uh, at True. This point, right. Good point. You know, the, for a team that's been in a rebuild for, you know, seven, eight years, we're kind of, the, the cupboards are getting a little bare already, so...